Good day students, I hope you are well. Welcome back to our Excel lectures. Today we are covering lectures 6.1 and 6.2. Those are the activities. Let's go and take a, a look again under content on Blackboard. We'll move to MS Excel Practical Tasks. And we are with the last lesson we did was the Excel relative and absolute. Today we are starting to look at the if statements. There will be two or three videos on the if statements because we do the if statements in a different format. Today we are covering 6.1 and 6.2, which are basic if statements. So let's download the question paper. take a look at this while that's opening I'm going to download the starter file okay we have the question paper and we have here a basic if statement as the student you will follow the instruction I know the activity already so let's t jump ahead and take a look at Cape Penn State College. We are going to start with a blank starter file. And as you guys get distinctions, if you get 75% or more, you will receive a distinction. In this case, the student, if they receive 75%, or more will receive a merit award if they do not they will receive no award so let's go and take a look at the Excel starter file for 6.1 let's just let it open quickly Right, let me make this a bit bigger so that you guys can see it. And we've been given some basic information here. The code, the subject, and the percentage. I am going to create in cell D5 an if statement. So we will go to formulas and we will insert function. If if is not showing here, you can again just type there if and you go and search for it. And there we go is our if statement. So let's click on our if statement. Now we have a logical test. If what? Now if we look very carefully, it's actually quite simple. If the percentage is greater than or equal to 75%. Please note that I put the percentage in there. So if C5, the argument is greater than or equals to 75%. If that is true, it must say merit award. And if that is not true, if it's less than 75%, it will say no award. So take a, a look carefully at our argument, our function arguments. So if the percentage is greater than or equals to 75%, the value if true, it's going to display their merit award. The value if false, it's going to display there no award. So take a good look at that. You can come back and watch the video again. In this case, the student got 57% and there was no award. We may you now use the fill handle to copy down. And you will see there, that is above 75% or 75% and above. That is 75% and above, and the student receives a merit award. So, to take a look again at our function, 
there it is the argument the value if true and the value if false so here is the argument and what it will display if the argument is true and what it will display if the argument is false please come back and have a look at the video as many times as you need and practice this activity in order to get it correct and good luck with this one I am now going to move on to 6.2 6.2 is a discounts spreadsheet so let's open the question paper and have a look what they are discussing or asking us to do from this activity right let's make this a bit bigger so that we can see it this is Eddie's discount store and what happens is you have a sales value and you will if you have purchased more than 500 Rand you will receive a discount of 5% if you have not purchased more than 500 Rand or more you will receive a discount of zero now if you notice this is in currency so there is a little trick that is happening here so more than equal to same as the previous one greater than or equal to let's go and take a look at the starter file and let me show you directly how we would do this one so I'm going to download my starter file for 6.2 we open it and this one is going to be slightly more challenging because we now have to put the information in in currency so the first thing that the instructions are asking me to do is to format these cells to currency I'm going to leave it at two decimal places and I'm going to tell it OK. Now the condition is, and it is in the question paper, 6.2. Let's go and take a look here. Use an if formula to determine, to determine if the sales value is more than or equal to 500 Rand then the customer is going to receive a 5% discount on the sales value otherwise the customer will receive 0% but now there's a little trick here because they are showing this in money so what are we going to do well let's download this file which we have done and go to our formulas and we will insert a function and we're going to insert our if statement now we're going to elaborate a little bit on this one if the sales value a3 is greater than or equal to 500 rand or the amount of 500 the value if true is going to be a 5% discount is going to be a 3 multiplied you can say 5% or I'm going to go 0 0.05 which is 5% so if you move back to your basic basic mathematics it would be a 3 times 5% the value if false in other words if they have spent less than 500 Rand I would multiply a 3 multiplied by naught so have a look at your argument carefully the criteria is my cell a 3 must be greater than or equal to 500 in order to be true should that be true it is then the answer that it will display in that cell is a three times five percent if that value is false it is a three times zero percent 
This one may take a little bit of practice. I'm going to say OK and the magic happens. It is displaying it in currency for us there. And if we have a look here, we've got a 750 and they received a 5% discount on that, which equated to 37 Rand 50. And for 500 Rand, you get a 25 Rand discount, which is our 5%. In these two cases they get 0% so let's just click on the first one and click on our function again and take a relook at that if a3 is greater than or equal to 500 if that is true you will multiply a3 by 5% if that is false you will multiply a3 by 0% and that will give you the answer in currency because we have set it to currency. So what we are actually doing is we are actually performing a calculation if the value is true and we are performing a calculation if the value is false. What we need to do is obtain the final value for the rest of the exercise and that simply equals the sales value less the discount. A3 minus B3. Very simple. And that would be 475. Let's use our full handle. Copy down. And there we have it. So what we have had a look at is two forms of if statements. The first one was a simple if criteria. So if a student received 75%, they will get a merit award. If they don't receive 75%, they will get no award. In the second one with Eddie's discount store, we actually took the if function to a new level and the value if true was actually an equation and the value if false was an equation. Students, please come back to this video and watch it as many times as is required. Please feel free to also ask us questions on the WhatsApp group. Um, it is essential that you get this right in order for us to move on with the further if statements or statements and statements for next week. That is all for today. Thank you. I hope you have a great day.